Firescape Academy training, inspection of Firescape. Two things you need to look at when you're uh, looking at Firescapes in regards to writing a violation. Uh, number one would be to uh, to see if to see if uh, see if it has um, has been kept painted and uh, if it's structurally sound. <clears throat> Starting from the down, uh, the bottom part here. This cantilever system it looks uh, new. You can see that it has been, uh, it's uh, paint, it's been painted, and you can see up above the different colors. So from, from the cantilever up, there's no paint, pretty much, and it still has the old uh, bolts, the, the square head bolts, that were used uh, 50 to 75 years ago. So that means um, the, the whole fire escape actually is structurally it's unsafe because most likely it does have some internal rust in between the connection especially on the treads and if I was just try to climb it most likely one of them will probably come down and hurt me and uh, that's that's not uh, a good way to inspect the fire escape so if I was to inspect this thing I would actually start walking it up and hammer test it and uh, just to see if it would come down but uh, either way I don't feel secure walking this whole fire escape. So that's what you're lo looking for. See if uh, the, uh, the old bolts are in the, the square head. So that means that it has not been touched. 50 to 75 years has uh, been uh, been uh, no repairs done to this fire escape. So it definitely needs a paint job. So violation for the paint and structurally also violation from, uh, from down here. You can just determine that. This cantilever looks like uh, there's no obstruction down here, so it actually comes down here. There is no lever, uh, no release level, so it does, uh, most likely it needs one. And uh, we probably need to add a little bit uh, weight down here and uh, have a release arm because it, for you to bring this down, you'd have to possibly step on it. I don't know how many steps you have to go down in order for it to come down and that's not the proper way of uh, releasing a cantilever. You cannot walk uh, straight out. You need to have the release arm. Once you, you can actually put it here on the, on the first floor, you uh, have uh, some sort of lever. As you walk through it, you push it, push it out that way, and then the cantilever will fall down. So basically, it's out of balance right now, um, and you need a, a, a release arm down here. I do see um, spalling on the, on the supports itself, so definitely the cement spalling. I need to patch those up. Uh, most likely there's been water penetration going into the building and rotting away at the, sea, um, at the supports. So need to seal that up. You can seal it up with a concrete cement there um, and uh, silicone cement. I don't see any treads down at this time. But if you have any further questions, uh, um, call 800-649-3333. Welcome to visit us on, um, on our website, firescapeengineers.com. And um, also on YouTube for just no training. You, you can just type in um, Firescape Academy Training. I'll just actually keep walking down through here. This is, uh, we are in uh, Concord, New Hampshire. So we have one here <coughs> without the treads. You can probably sense that this thing is not being used or doesn't need to be used because it goes right directly into the roof. So it's probably not an escape. It probably has another means of egress, so they probably don't need it. In, in, a case like th in a case like this, you need to remove this thing. So the firemen don't, need, don't um, mistake it for, for a fire escape. Especially look at all the treads that are out. I don't know how these treads... Uh, they probably came down at one time and most likely if they came